we want to describe and graph the transformation of the given cosine function. Notice how the cosine function is in this form here, where c is equal to positive two, a, because of the subtraction, is equal to negative five, b is equal to pi divided by five, and then finally d, because we have subtraction here and subtraction here, d is equal to positive six. And now let's describe the type of transformation. C indicates a vertical shift of vertical translation, and because C is equal to positive two, the graph is shifted or translated up two units. Because the graph is shifted up two units, so is the midline, and therefore the midline is going to be y equals two. Let's go ahead and sketch the midline on the graph. Here's the horizontal line, y equals two. Next, the absolute value of a is equal to the amplitude, and since a is equal to negative five, the absolute value of a is equal to the absolute value of negative five, which is five, and therefore the amplitude is equal to five. However, because a is negative or less than zero, the graph is reflected across the midline. Next, two pi divided by b is equal to the period, and again here, b is equal to pi divided by five, which means two pi divided by b is equal to two pi divided by pi over five. Simplifying, this gives us two pi divided by pi over five, which is equivalent to times five over pi. Simplifying before multiplying, notice how the pi's simplify to one, leaving us with two times five, which is 10. And therefore the period is equal to 10 units. And then finally notice D is equal to positive six. D indicates a horizontal shift or horizontal translation. And since D is equal to positive six, the graph is translated or shifted right six units. Normally when graphing the basic cosine function, we start along the y-axis. However, in this case, because we have a horizontal shift right six units, we will graph one period of the cosine function starting at x equals six. Let's make a vertical line at x equals six. And then because the period is 10 units, six plus 10 is 16. Let's also sketch a vertical line at x equals 16. We will graph one period of the given cosine function over this interval. But before we do this, let's divide this interval into four equal subintervals. Well, half the period is equal to half of 10 or five units. Six plus five is 11. Let's make a vertical line at x equals 11. One fourth of the period is going to be equal to 2.5 units. So starting at six, six plus 2.5 is 8.5. Let's make a vertical line at x equals 8.5, which is here. We already have a vertical line at x equals 11. 11 plus 2.5 is 13.5. Let's sketch another vertical line at x equals 13.5 here. And now we'll sketch one period of the given cosine function over this interval. Remember when graphing the basic cosine function over one period, the pattern is maximum, midline, minimum, midline, maximum. But because we have a reflection across the midline, our pattern is going to be minimum, midline, maximum, midline, and minimum. And one more thing, because the amplitude is five, starting at the midline, two plus five is seven, we will have a maximum function value of seven, and two minus five is equal to negative three, we will have a minimum function value of negative three. Starting at x equals six, following the pattern of the basic cosine function with the reflection, we will start at a minimum, go back to the midline, up to a maximum, back down to the midline, and back down to a minimum. Now we can graph one period of the given cosine function, which would look like this. Before we complete more of the graph, let's complete the statements above.
The first statement is the phase shift is what? Well, the phase shift is a horizontal shift of the right six units, but for this question, we will just enter a positive six, indicating the shift is right six units. Remember, when d is negative, the graph is shifted left the absolute value of d units. The translation of the point zero, one is what point, which is on the midline, a max or a min. Remember, when graphing the basic cosine function, zero comma one is the first point we graph, which is this point here. But because we have a phase shift, notice how our first point was this point here, which is the ordered pair six comma negative three. And notice how this is a low point, and therefore we can classify this as a minimum. So the translation of zero, one is six comma negative three, yeah. which is a minimum. Next, the period is 10 units. One half of the period is half of 10 or five units. The point that is half of the period to the right of the phase shift would be the point five units to the right of this first point here which is when the x-coordinate is 11, which is this high point. The ordered pair for this point is 11 comma seven, which notice is a high point, and therefore we classify this as a maximum. But in this case, we're only asked to give the point as an ordered pair, which is 11 comma seven. Before we go though, let's go ahead and graph more of our cosine function. Let's draw a vertical line every two and a half units to the left of x equals six. Well, six minus 2.5 is 3.5. Let's sketch x equals 3.5, which is here. 3.5 minus 2.5 is one. So here's x equals one. And one minus 2.5 is negative 1.5, which is here on the edge. So following the same pattern of our graph, moving to the left, here we're back to the midline. Here we're back up at a maximum. Here we're back to the midline. So here's more of the graph of the given cosine function. I hope you found this helpful.